Americans have plenty of different 4th of July traditions and some of them are more unique than others. Tonight we're talking about the famous Nathan's hot dog eating contest, specifically the Colorado competitor who took part in it and the cause that she's trying to raise awareness for. I don't think anywhere else in the world you would find hot dogs tied up in a human rights campaign. It was a big day for Mary Bowers in Coney Island. This was my eighth run at the Pink Mustard Belt and my eighth time at Nathan's Famous at Coney Island. But it was my very first time to represent South Korea because I, it was important to me, I think, in terms of my own identity to reclaim the Korean pieces of myself. Pieces, the Colorado raised competitive eater says she started to find when searching for her history back in 2020. What I discovered was a series of human rights abuses um, that are quite serious. I am not crazy because there are almost 400 other people worldwide who have made similar claims. The documents my parents in Colorado received uh, indicate that I was an orphan with no identifiable parents. However, when I did some digging, I found the names of two very alive people. It was after making these discoveries about her life and that others had a similar story. She says she couldn't stay silent. What I'd like uh, the government to see is that this is a pressing international human rights issue. Uh, this is something that affects not only um, human rights, but international trade. Uh, because we're talking about black markets and um, how money moves between the legal market and the illegal market. Uh, we are also talking about national security. Bowers joined the Australia United States Korean Rights Group, which is part of a bigger movement and petition spearheading efforts to have Korea's overseas adoption system investigated. Some of the human rights violations suspected are falsely identifying children as orphans despite having living parents, sending children overseas with the identity and paperwork of another child, even deceiving Korean families who do not consent to an adoption. Colorado is always going to be home and it's just it's a really really difficult thing uh, to um, to to share with I know what is a loving community but but it's a difficult thing and the push to raise awareness. That's why Bowers says she not only wanted to represent her home country in Tuesday's hot dog eating contest but others who also have a similar story. The adoptees in my claim group, uh, there are 16 uh, U.S. and Australian adoptees, and we were grouped together uh, out of that 400 based on the adoption agency that we went through. So as part of my Nathan's Famous run this year, I set a goal of 16 hot dogs and buns in the 10 minute time period. Bowers came in eighth place, eating nine hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. While that's shy of her goal, she says her work isn't over. Join me in eating hot dogs to help me finish out what I started, not just with the hot dogs, but also in signing a petition to get U.S. Congress to act and uh, respond to these international investigations taking place. Such an inspirational story. Now, just last month, the Australia United States Korean Rights Group says all its cases were added to a government led investigation looking into all four Korean adoption agencies. While this is a start, there is a petition calling on the U.S. Congress to investigate as well on claims of illegal and fraudulent adoptions from South Korea. You can find a link to that on Denver7.com.